Good, Good morning. morning. From the pastor and first lady of the Friendship Baptist Church in Hamilton, Georgia, we want to welcome you this morning to our Sunday morning broadcast. We really hope that there's a song, prayer, a word spoken that will truly bless your life. So please join our services now already in progress.
Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 21. I want to look at verses 1 through 4. One more time, let us all say amen. amen. The word of our God says, And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. Verse 4 says, For all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. But she of the purity has cast in all the living that she had. Grab your neighbor by the hand, look him or her, and I declare with me these words. Say, neighbor, neighbor. pastor, going to preach about, Lord, Lord, anoint my tithe. Turn to the neighbor on the other side, say to that neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. pastor's going to preach about, Lord, Lord, anoint my tithe. Anoint my you may be seated. My brothers and my sisters, chapter 21 of Luke's gospel deals now with the blessings of the Almighty God. It's in chapter 21, verses 1 through 4, that we reason and we discuss the very essence that God today is not concerned with what we have. But rather, I believe by faith that God is concerned with what we do with what we have. For my brothers and my sisters, whenever you come to the point where you understand the life, the legacy, and the teachings of Jesus Christ, you will understand that Jesus was not in the business of receiving, but he was in the business of giving. And I thank God for that because if you don't understand nothing else that my Lord and my Savior does or has done for you in the basis of giving, then you ought to understand over 2,014 years ago, he gave his life that you might have a right to the tree of life. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who you are, where you're sitting. But when I think of the way God has given Jesus for me, I can't help but want to give as a blessing to the Almighty God. Do I have any help in here? Because when I study chapter 21, chapter 21 of Luke's writing record the essence that according to verse number 1, 2, 3, and 4, God is not concerned of the amount, the amount that we give, but rather he's concerned of be giving by faith. And that's what I stop by to tell each and every one of us today that if you learn to give by faith, if you you learn to give according to the word, the will, and the way of God, then God is in the business of taking care of you. Is there anybody in the Friendship Church that will help me preach this message that will testify that when I learn to give according to the way God has given me, then God has promised to do for me what I can't do for myself. That's my beloved brothers and sisters.